lot of questions and I want to answer them all and I, I can't answer each one of you so I've decided to make a video and yes I'm learning Chinese but I'm not in China so the first question is where I am which is uh, the answer to it is I am currently in Malaysia what I do is I travel in, within my budget in uh, Southeast Asia only in the countries where I can go to without having uh, you know to go through the visa process and all that so what I do right now is that I'm currently in Malaysia and I, I it's kind of like my second home so I go around to other countries and then I come back to Malaysia um, so far I haven't been brought to so many countries because of my limited budget but I try to do so as uh, as much as I can. So a lot of people ask me, where are you now? Where are you? What are you doing? And stuff like that. I can't always tell you where I am because sometimes I keep on the move. So I'm not always in the same place. But mainly I am in Malaysia and I go around cities and countries and anyway. I, I, why I chose Malaysia to stay, to make it my second home or my main place is because probably the first country I visited here probably because it is a Muslim country and I can find halal food, delicious one and I have really good friends uh, maybe I've got, I just got used to the place and yeah I like it here uh, so yeah next question where do you get the money? This is the magic question, like everybody wants to know where do I get the money. Of course, I didn't inherit any, any you know, money or whatsoever. No, my parents do not support me. They haven't been since I was like uh, 20. Yeah, I've been working right after I graduated, I started working, so I've, I've been pretty much independent. And uh, no, I haven't been saving. I had a bit of savings, but that wasn't enough for me to to keep going this long. It's been hard, so like seven, eight months now. So no, no, it's not not savings. The secret is I do work. I work while I'm traveling. So um, so far I have worked. I've been so lucky to find really good positions. I have worked as a um, a hotel uh, receptionist, as a host for a, um, a kind of a small or big big house, uh, as a very old house, what we call in Morocco Riyadh, but here they call it shop houses. And then um, I've, I've I've worked as a reservation officer or manager for a group of hotels. A, um, and I worked as a manager for a hotel, acting manager for a short while. And the, um, yeah, so far that's it. Yeah, and I worked as a sale girl in a um, boutique shop, you know, fashion and clothes shop. Not because I needed the money, it was just for one day, and I, I just needed the experience, and I wanted to feel how it feels like, and it, I wanted to see if I was really good at it, and I was. I really. I was. People, um, you know, found me friendly, and they they could just buy stuff from me easily. So the 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 income of that day was uh, higher than what they usually do. So I was pretty proud of myself. I'm a I'm a good failure, so yeah. I, I would definitely do it if uh, if I had to. I I would do it again. I can work in restaurants. I don't. I don't mind working as a housekeeper or, you know, anything low. I don't mind. I I'm just a traveler, so I I need money to keep on the go. So yeah, this is how I get my money. So I've been working a really good job so far. I I want to thank all the people who've been supporting me with their kind words. You know, it means a lot to me. I know it's not very common for a girl to make this decision and just try to you know just take her backpack and and start traveling around the world it's it's not easy I, it's definitely not a very easy decision to make and it, it takes a lot of courage and 
I really I want to encourage girls to do it because it's a very amazing experience. I have no words to describe how 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 amazingly it changed me. And and you kind of made a lot of nice people. And this is definitely a very good experience that I advise you to to try it out. I'm talking mainly to girls because I know how our culture is very strict and protective of girls and you know uh, usually this is something what a what a guy would do and their parents would be okay with it but if it was for a girl the parents would be like no who are there these friends and where are you going and blah 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 so it's always you know a way for a guy and another way for a girl so but i do really encourage girls to do this it's, a, it's an amazing experience and I think everybody should travel and you know, learn about new cultures and meet new people. So I want to thank you all for encouraging me. Sometimes I do feel lonely. If you like my videos, please like and share so I can make others and to be updated with my journey. I. I want to I want to send this message. I want to tell the, the Moroccan people that girls can do it too. We can do it, and it's not really that hard. It just needs a lot of courage. Okay. And I haven't learned a word. Salamat <laughs> de Um. I'm not going to say um, much in this video. I want you to comment or to send me uh, questions in, my, in messages either on my Facebook page, my personal Facebook, my Gmail or on, uh, below in the comments, anything. And I will make other videos and I will keep you always updated on what I do and stuff like that. So, so yeah, I'll just uh, I'll do that.